Brendan, that was certainly an entertaining evening for the fans here in Japan. From a manager's point of view, how do you assess that 90 minutes? Yeah, I think it was a it was a tough schedule for us in terms of arriving here so quick and then playing the game against a team that you can see is a good team and you know pretty much about three quarters of the way through the season. So, um, but it was perfect for what we needed. You know, we still, as you can see, a long way from our fitness levels that we need to be at. Um, so there's still a lot of work to do on that front. Uh, from a technical perspective, more also when you see the goals we gave away from having good possession of the ball and uh, giving away cheap goals and, uh, and continue to work on the tactical structure of the team. So, um, so yeah, some really good moments. I thought Dizan was, was outstanding in the game in every aspect. You know, he's running, he's touch, he's finishing. He looked absolutely outstanding, so really, really pleased for him. But the main priority was our fitness and we'll have benefited from tonight. Let's stick on Dyson just for a, a little moment. Much of this trip was built about the five Japanese players returning to their home country. Tonight it was Tomoki and Dyson returning to Yokohama and to put on a display like that for Dyson and to also score a hat-trick. There must be so much personal pride and also for yourself so much pride in his performance. Yeah, yeah. And also uh, from Tomoki as well, I thought he was excellent. You know, he, he played in right back. Uh, position he hasn't played so much but he has played it here before and I thought he did very very well um, so yeah so so I think overall for, for the two boys I was pleased for them to come back to the home country and and uh, and obviously got a lovely reception for the supporters and like you said the it was uh, was he, he was absolutely uh, he was he was amazing just in, in all aspects you know I've been impressed with him from afar but um, but no, he was, uh, he was very good. Pre-season, as you said, before the match, is all about building fitness ahead of the league campaign starting in just two and a half weeks' time. So tell us a little bit more again about the importance of this fixture against a real top quality opposition and what this can do for the team going forward into the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I just think that it's a step up. We've played sort of two behind closed doors games. Uh, and again, each, each game is step, stepping up performance level. Um, but as I said, I can't lose track of the the priority at this stage, you know, you can never, you can never go on results. And uh, like I said, it was a, a good game to build that fitness tonight. And obviously, you could see how much, that bit sharper they were. And that just comes from games. Uh, and we'll get to that point. Uh, but, uh, but like I say, we have to focus on our, our physicality, and uh, and hopefully that uh, well, certainly will improve over the next couple of weeks. And the pre-season games also provide an opportunity to see how the players are adapting to the slight changes you might be making to the patterns of play. How do you think they handled the, the changes that you're trying to, to bring and also maybe some of the, the in-game tactical decisions that you're making as well? Yeah, I think that they had coped well. I think you can see whenever it, it works well, some of the patterns and then penetrating the space in behind. Uh, you're also trying to attract opponents out and, and then counter them with the ball, which, which they did that very well. Uh, and in other moments, whenever we were hesitant with the ball and, uh, and maybe didn't get our pass away quick enough, and, and also we made mistakes. So, um, so that's something that you need to eradicate in the game. But um, that's what pre-season's for, you know, flushing out all those mistakes, getting your levels of fitness up, and, um, and then you, you build through that over the course of pre-season. And now we head off to Osaka for the final match of this Tour of Japan. What do you hope to get out of these final few days in Japan and from that final match against Gamba Osaka? Yeah, but well, we wanted to really push uh, a number of players tonight. Um, so you could see by the time they're coming off, 65 minutes, and I think we can see that just before that, you could see the tiredness in their legs. But we needed to get them get them through that. Come the weekend, we'll, we'll probably go back to more up in 2.45 minutes uh, because of the heat and everything else. And that allows us to get back in a good place physically after this, this trip. And then over the, the following weeks, we can then really ramp it up. So, um, so yeah, so a lot of work for us still to do. Enjoyable work and uh, we'll look forward to our next challenge.